all started out as rookies. And I'm thinking, that's so wrong. You, you don't yes, take a... Yes. Oh, sorry. please address the board? Okay, I'm sorry. Is that, that's so wrong because you don't get rid of a whole department and expect the same kind of success. It's like a hospital. You don't get rid of a whole trauma team and bring in new graduates and expect the same success. Now the plan, it should be a proven plan. I wouldn't go up to you and give you a pill because I know you're sick. I wouldn't go up and give you a pill and say, take it. I don't mean not if you were sick. I wouldn't and expect, you shouldn't expect me to give it to you and you wouldn't take it because you don't, because I haven't done testing. I don't know what your systems are. I don't know all that stuff. And you wouldn't take it if you don't know as well. It's called informed consent. And the people, when we work in the hospital, when you go to a hospital, you have an informed consent. That patient has a right to know what is the procedure is about, what are some of the consequences, all the different complications, side effects. Why is it in the public service, when you're gonna do something with a public safety, that they don't have the same right of having an informed consent, of knowing what's gonna happen, what's involved. Look at the numbers. I think the people deserve, you know what, they're smart people here. They're very smart people. They're smart people. I, I love what you did at Camden um, College, when you had the groups of the children up and how, much, how great they were. I love that. There's so many good stories like that. But then they're denied, her parents are denied the right to vote about their police department being dismantled. And that sends them to the wrong message. And the people here, they should be demanding a right to vote whether the Metro Police plan goes into effect. Inform them, show them the plan, get experts in, like the um, FOP National President Chuck Canterbury said, there are, there are agents that, that should be involved. You, right? the FOP? Pardon me? The FOP pays you? Yes. But the thing is, I'm a nurse. And I'm, yeah, and I'm a mom, and you know what? Just like you are cross. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter who pays me, because you know what? It's, it's my knowledge that I've grown there. It's like, you know when you're a nurse, the big thing you do is that you don't work for the money, you work because you care about helping people. And I'm telling you, I've put in a ton, I've worked harder in my life, because I want to help the people. You say you want to help the people in Candom. I'm saying this plan's not gonna work because experience counts in emergency response, especially in Candom. And by removing all the people who know all the characters and putting in new people that don't, this is not the time to do it in the middle of a crisis. You don't change a whole force out in, when you're in the middle of a war. Because what's gonna happen, it's gonna be easier for the drug dealers to come in to get their drugs and go out and go into our schools. I mean, the drug dealers are thrilled. Go, go into the schools, go into the, you know, the, the families that are all struggling right now. We have to make it harder. And we're so fortunate to have a police force like Camden that are willing to do the difficult work, willing to chase down the guys. And they know how to do it because it's a lot of it, it's, it's more talk than it is guns. And that takes development. And I just wish that you would honor the people and just allow them to vote. Thank you. Thank you. Brian Morton. Uh, I live in North Camden, which in the last month has seen somewhere around eight murders take place in the mid-afternoon. We're not talking about at night, we're talking in the middle of the afternoon, one o'clock, two o'clock. Um, we have a police department, right, that stages under this a contract they have, right? 30% of our officers are off duty when they should be on duty that's at true. any given day. That's not true, that's not true. 30%, I, I didn't interrupt her, I would love for you like not to interrupt me. I would just love the same thing that's been given to be gave to me, all right? So 30% of our officers are not on duty. In fact, right, I've lived in Camden for 41 years and I never make a secret of the fact that I wasn't always, you know, the greatest of people in character. So I grew up as a part of a culture, you know, that was in direct opposition to the police department. So I made a habit of studying and befriending, right, many officers. And that's all, you know, they, I, I, I love when people speak about Camden and never lived there for a day in their life. As if we're some, like, great community that you should go and give something to the natives. 
you know, because they can't think for themselves. You know, like the people of Camden are special. Really, yeah, well that's what I've been hearing from many people tonight is insult after insult, right? So this current union is capable of calling out sick, getting credit for having worked a full week, and then working with another officer to say, hey, I need a couple extra thousand dollars this week, so how about I take over some hours from your shift? So they play shift roulette with sick time, vacation time, and other officers' time to stack the deck so that they end up coming in at a base pay of maybe thirty-five or 40000 but by the end of the year, they've made 80000 And so our coffers in Camden are being bled so that we can only staff at 225 officers as opposed to the full amount that we should have on the street. Another fascinating you know, thing that I've been able to, to, to see take place in, in, in the city is where they would even have the audacity to call out to take second jobs when we're in the middle of a murder crisis where our police union continues to enjoy the fact that its highest members, its leaders, don't have to show up for work but still get paid for it. And then question publicly, why should I show up for work because I can't impact any change? Well, give up the gun, give up the badge, and let others step up to do the job. 